everyone and welcome back to my channel. I loved doing the car vlog last week so I decided while I was on another long drive it would be fun to do like a ponder sesh. I love listening to podcasts that just pick a topic and they kind of just build off of it. Not necessarily like explain it but more or less give their thoughts and kind of just blabber about it which if you haven't guessed by now I love to blabber. But today's ponder sesh via my car I thought it would be fun to talk about a theory that I came across simply via Netflix from a little documentary called Behind the Curve. I guess I should explain what I'm going to be talking about. And so today's Ponder Sesh, we are going to be discussing, while I'm on my drive, the Flat Earth Theory. After I watched that Netflix documentary, it really got the little like things in my brain, mechanisms if you will turning about this theory because in the show in the documentary behind the curve mark Sargent is the person that they're interviewing and he's explaining the theory and he is a huge person on youtube for this theory so he has a youtube channel basically dedicated to this and i found it kind of funny because he wears a lot of shirts with his face on it but he really stands behind his theory and so i became like a, a little obsessed with watching it and a lot of parts were kind of like uh, I don't know if I believe in that but I can really appreciate people as long as they're not hurting anybody or being rude or demeaning to other people but if you can stand behind a theory that you have and like present your facts and what you believe in a dignified and correct manner I totally 100% like I'm behind that that's the freedom of speech like do what you will and I feel like a lot of people in the flat earth community do that and yes there is a flat earth community out there guys like there's a flat earth community there's a flat earth society people have meetings across the country in different cities that kind of come together because the flat earth theory if you are a flat earther as what they describe you as if you believe in this theory it's not a popular theory to go around and tell people it's very odd so that kind of proves the case that you know this is kind of a theory that people when they say they're flat earthers people are like oh they're crazy or whatever but the theory though is so interesting in itself even if you're not a believer so let's get it out of the way am i a flat earther no i'm not a flat earther but that's okay because that is why i love diving into like theories and like conspiracy theories primarily but other things like especially people have a totally opposite view as view as me I like to remove myself from the situation and it's not that I'm gonna believe any different than I already do but I may learn something and I may also see things from a different side of view and it's just about the discussion and I'm a person that really likes to do that so when I do discuss things with people and they get really defensive or I feel like a lot of people they kind of go at it in the mindset of I'm going to change your mind when I don't like that it's like just tell me your truth like tell me what you think that I could get behind so this Mark Sargent guy is like totally into it and let me just kind of briefly explain what the flat earth theory is like I this video is not going to be me explaining it like going into all the different details uh, this, this is a ponder sesh y'all so I just have some thoughts on it and I think it's so interesting to talk about. So the flat earth theory is like an umbrella. Basically at minimum, if you are a flat earther, you believe the earth is flat. You don't believe we are round and globe. Um, you believe that it is flat. And also you don't believe that we're spinning around. Like we're just a ball of whatever, we're earth spinning around like at so fast of speed through the universe. Um, you believe they're stationary. And what I find interesting is that within the flat earth community, and if you are a flat earther, you also can believe other things that are different than other flat earthers. Some of them believe that the earth is flat with the Arctic circle in the middle with an ice wall, Antarctica, surrounding the edges. And there are some flat earthers that believe that same theory, but also believe that there is a dome over the earth that's like kind of keeping everything inside. That I find interesting. Um, the dome one to me, I don't, I don't, there's, and before, you know, if you are a flat earther and you happen to watch 
watch this video, like, do not take offense to it at all. This just is me kind of like pondering through the theory, kind of like thinking through my head. The dome one, I can't really like. I can see the flat Earth one in a way. If I if I put my mindset in theirs, like I'm like, okay, I can see the what they're giving me. The dome, not so much, um, because of the clouds and and everything with that. And I, I don't know. I'm not really behind that one. But all in all, though, if you are a flat Earther, does not mean you believe in the same thing as others, which I found very interesting because I thought it was just like one theory and that was it. So that was very cool to find out. So most of the flat earth theories involve having the Arctic Circle in the middle and Antarctica around the edges and having like this ice wall and that there is an edge. And you know, can you fall off the edge is like what's beneath the earth. I found some research that said a lot of flat earthers thought that there was nothing um, beneath the earth, that, that there was nothing, like there's only above, um, which is very interesting. So those two are kind of like the main feats in the uh, flat earth community. And then as I was reading things, I started to kind of probably get what everybody starts thinking of, okay, if we're going with the earth is flat, what about this? And my biggest thing was the sun and the moon. Like if, you know, we are flat and we aren't this like spinning ball flying through the universe, if we're stationary, how do you account for the sun and moon? And they told account for it as the sun and moon are like on opposite sides spinning, spinning and rotating and that's why some parts of the world are lit up by the sun while others are in the dark because the sun and the moon are on opposite sides and they also believe that they are not as far away as we think which I found very interesting so I was like huh oh, okay um, and then the gravity like they totally knock out gravity of saying you know we, we view gravity and Einstein's uh, theory of relativity is that gravity is pulling us down but flat earthers think that gravity is pushing things up um, because a lot of the times they describe like streams and how they would watch the stream and how if you put water down or if it's a flat surface you know if the earth was curved why did the, why don't things fall off um, which is like okay okay I get you there was just so many things. I was like, okay, so it's like, almost like every point that people that aren't flat earthers, and there's a lot of people that aren't that are very, very determined to prove these people wrong, which I totally get. You can have your own stance too, but um, it was to me so interesting to go into the theory and, and look at all the different points. Like, okay, what about this? What about that? And almost everything, they had a point. And also there's a video, and I can't think of the guy's name, but I'll put it up on the screen if I can has a whole video on YouTube about 200 proofs of flat earth and the flat earth theory became like super popular because of YouTube apparently from what I read and that um, this video you know was 200 reasons why basically uh, flat earth is real um, and I did get to watch the video and I really do uh, want to watch it I just read a bunch of articles like in kind of listing the 200 proofs uh, basically that guy that I cannot remember the name of and Mark Sargent are like the two forerunners in the community of Flat Earth. So then as I'm doing my research, I come across, okay, if the Earth is flat, why do we have pictures from satellites in space of the Earth being round? And I was like, true, that's right. Okay, if you're a Flat Earther, you believe NASA is like totally against you. You think NASA is like built to somehow make it impossible for us to ever figure out that the Earth is flat and like NASA is the enemy and that uh, the, the pictures that we have of Earth are somehow photoshopped and put together. And then I got to reading, which I found interesting, I never knew this, was that, and it makes sense to me when I kind of think about it, is that there is no way for us to get one single shot of the Earth from satellites like there's there's no way there's like not this huge ginormous lens up there and that it's like basically circling um the earth and it's getting like different slivers and different pieces and then they kind of put it together and boom we got this round earth but the flat earthers you know there's a lot of pieces missing like there's no way for them to get it perfect and so it's reason for them to believe that you know it's a trick which you know, NASA is huge for the United States, and it's a, it's a multi-billion dollar, you know, industry. And, you know, a lot of people, um, when they start getting into the whole NASA situation isn't real, it goes into the moon landing, and that the moon landing was fake. And, and it also leads to the fact that flat earthers are basically, again, like the umbrella to all conspiracy theories. It's like the 
it is a rabbit hole, you guys. Like, I went down a rabbit hole, and it was interesting, but wow, there's so much information out there, but you have to dig. And I found that very odd. So when I started searching the Flat Earth Theory after I watched Behind the Curve, I had a really hard time finding just general websites of people who were flat earthers. Like every time I Google search something, it was somebody like interviewing a flat earther and basically trying to discredit them or going to, there's conventions all around the country, going to these conventions and basically like destroying them and um, you know, this is my experience and this was stupid and you know, it was a lot of negativity which is strange to me that that's like the first thing that comes up so that like piques my interest I'm like okay if, like if this is just like a woo that's crazy you know type theory then why is Google like the internet like why is it trying to hide it so much because I had to freaking dig for this information people like it was not easy and I guarantee you if you Google it you will too so then it all came down like once I did research I'm like okay we believe you know there's a dome some people we believe that it's just flat you know gravity is pushing things up and not down and I found it very strange that a lot of people that try to discredit it go with the idea of science which in my mind logically makes sense but the issue with that is that flat earthers don't they don't like the science part so if, if they're coming at you with okay the earth is flat and this and this and this and this is why and then the other people come back at you with science, it's just like boom, boom. Like it's not gonna match. And I find that interesting that people will literally go to these conventions and try to convince these people who are there because they're flat earthers that they're wrong. I'm like, why would you do that? That makes no sense. It's like coming from like, you know, two opposite sides of, you know, the candle here. Opposite sides of the candle, that didn't make sense. Opposite sides of the fence. Like you're not going to cross each other. You're not going to make the other person believe because what you're backing up with, your theory, is not going to change their minds. And again, like when I got into the Flat Earth websites and actually, you know, blogs and different things like that, and a lot of Mark Sargent's videos of, you know, what they believe, and a lot of the time Flat Earthers will come at you with, you know, well, have you seen this? It's like common sense and that's what they really believe in. Like, you know, they truly are, they believe what they see. If they can't see it, then they don't believe it, such as the curve of the earth. You know, have you been in an airplane? Have you been really up high? Have you seen the curve of the earth? My answer is absolutely not. I've only been on an airplane twice in my life. I didn't see the curve of the earth. Another thing which I found to be pretty cool was the Chicago skyline off of the lake. How the curve of the earth, you should not, if there was a curve, you should not be able to see it. But on that lake, you can perfectly see the Chicago skyline, even though it's so far in the distance. But then when I did research on that, it was very, very quickly to find. Like, it was so hard to find that information, but it was very easy to find that you know, science backs this up as it's a mirage. Um, like, you know, things that happen in the desert and like it tricks your eye and the way the air and the heat and the temperature of the earth, it's like the opposite. I'm not a scientist, but once I read it, I was like, okay, but it's like every single thing and point that they have, they come at you with something. And I have to kind of like, I have mad respect for them. Like they really do. Like I'm not a flat earther. I don't think I'll ever believe in the theory, but I'm open to the idea of it because I find it so interesting. And I think a lot more people should be. Um, it's, it doesn't mean that you have to believe in it, but once I started reading their points, I was like, okay, I get that. And what I ended up finding at the end of all this, like this is totally a ponder sesh. Like this is me driving, just spitting out all these like random facts that I've gotten in my head and ideas and what I've read <laughs> over the past week. But I love, if, if, if a flat earther believes in this, I, I love the idea of this this next part what I'm about to tell you guys because this is what I found once I finally found things about flat earthers and it wasn't like totally negative and discrediting them was that flat earthers do not believe that we are here out of pure coincidence so I found a lot of parallels between the flat earth theory and creationism of that we are not here we just didn't boom you know two atoms came together and just bam you know blew out you know universe um that it didn't happen that way that we're not here by coincidence and evolution and, you know it totally throws out that theory that we are here for a purpose that we're not just on this planet that's a ball rolling blasting through the universe that we were put here for a reason and that i can get behind i like that whether it's if we're on this ball flying through the universe 
want us to realize that we were put here for a reason uh, because it kind of symbolizes the flat earth theory symbolizes that that we're not just living on this ball that's flying through the universe that we were here for a reason that the sun and the moon aren't part of the universe and we're just in it the sun and the moon are there for us that they rotate around our earth for us the moon is on one side darkening one area the sun's on the other brightening it up and there's a the sun now behind me the sunset and you know different advertising companies and um you know commercials and you know clothing companies makeup companies youtube itself is all meant to distract us to make us want more to get us away from that bottom line that we are worth it that we are here for a reason that we are part we are part of this greater idea than just being on this round ball floating through the universe so while i am not a flat earther and if you are that's great keep believing what you want to believe in i'm a type of person believe what you want to believe as long as you're not hurting others and as long as you're not trying to force other people in harmful ways or just in any way frankly to believe what you believe in you know back it up by thoughts good thoughts you know what you think and once I dive deeper into that theory there's a lot of people that believe that you know they're just a part of something bigger and something more grander and more meaningful than the average everyday person believes when the earth is round and I am not a flat earther but I can get behind that idea and I and I really appreciate so I can look at the flat earth theory now after doing this research and doing the rabbit holing I can really understand a lot better now of the flat earth theory and I look at it differently than I did before before I was kind of like, okay, the earth is flat. I thought that was kind of it. But now I realize it's not. It's so much more than that. So if there's any theories out there, if you're interested in, you know, different types of theories and you kind of just heard like the plain overview, I highly recommend you like go into the rabbit hole, like go with the rabbit hole, go with Alice <laughs> and research different things. Because at the end of the day, no, I'm not a flat earther, but I learned something. Um, that was very interesting and it made me look at the whole theory so much more differently than I did before. So that is going to complete today's video. I loved doing this. For some reason, it makes the drive go by easier just talking in my car, doing a little vlog, a little ponder session. I have reached my destination, so I'm going to end this video, but please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy this type of content here on my channel. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos here on this channel. And that's it guys, I am ending this ponder sesh and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.